Excuse me. Hi. Mind if I join you? Well, hello yourself. They call me Bob. Pleased to meet you. Is there a subway around here? All there used to be. The club was named after the station. Where is the subway station? You're standing in it. See the area in front of the stage. The track ran right through there. Excuse me. See you later. Oh, don't count on it. Excuse me. Never mind. doesn't react to my thumbprint. Do you know Stairway to Heaven? They look really happy. Or stoned. Excuse me. Can I have a drink, please? No chance. Why not? Nice rules. Excuse me. What are the band called? The Hawk Club Quartet. But there's only three of them. Yeah, the saxophonist OD'd last month. Did the saxophonist OD on drugs? No. Too much sax. He got overexcited and ruptured his lungs. Do the rules prohibit me from drinking? No, you can drink all you want. But I can't serve you. You are the bartender, right? But I'm not the cabaret. How come you can get a drink and I can't? I told you. It's a harsh rules. Cost didn't fire me if I gave you a drink. I'm gonna complain about you. Please yourself. I demand to see the manager. Please yourself. Are you gonna fetch him? I can't leave the bar. Is the manager here? He's around. Never mind. Excuse me. Never mind. Hi. Mind if I join you? Good afternoon to you, Mr. Overman. What do you think of the club? I don't like the music. Neither do I. They should have retired years ago. I'm Colston, the manager of the club. Pleased to meet you. Is there a subway around here? What? I'm looking for the subway. What are you, a train spotter? Hear that, Gallagher? This guy's a train spotter. There's no law against that. Only because there aren't any trains. Look, guys, I'm not a train spotter. Who asked you? Is there a John in this place? Why do you want to know that? Well, I might need to use it. Surely the club's got to have one by law. Have you seen the John Gallagher? I don't need one. I don't drink like you do. No, I've noticed that. Hmm. 
There's no sign of a lock or a card slot. Excuse me. Where does the locked door lead to? To the wine cellar. Carlson's the only one who can open it. It's programmed to read his fingerprints. Never mind. I need to inspect your wine cellar. Forget it, mister. Nobody gets in there but me. Are we playing cards or what? All right. This guy distracted me. Silence in court. Security Services, Department of Justice, Inc. Judge Chutney presiding. Court is now in session. Silence! I recognize that villain. An habitual criminal, if ever I saw one. Ah, uh, that's Mr. Greaves, my lord. The counsel for the prosecution. Silence when you speak to me. Now, who is the first contestant? Defendant, my lord. The case of Union Security Services versus Howard Hobbins. Howard Hobbins, come on up. Nice to see you, Howard. You're not nervous, are you? Not really. The defendant is accused of gross contempt and assault of a security officer. Oh, intolerable. What have you got to say for yourself, eh? I've been framed, Your Honour. May I elucidate, my lord? Go on then, but hurry up about it. Officer Blunt was investigating a complaint made against Hobbins. After questioning the defendant, he was the victim of an assault. Ah, monstrous, off with his head. Just a flippin' minute. Who's defending me? Defence? Is he entitled to any? I'm afraid so, my lord. Upon my soul, whatever next? Who'd be silly enough to defend this wretch? Very well, let's get on with round one. Fingers on the buzzers, everyone. I wish to call Officer Blunt. Call Officer Blunt! Please tell the court what happened. Oh, I was assaulted. And is the culprit present in the court? Ah, oh, that's him in the overalls. I rest my case, my lord. Good. Where's my black cat? Ah, uh, we haven't heard the defence, my lord. Ah, uh, is it really necessary? Oh, go on. Just don't take all day. Now then, Officer Blunt. Who lodged the complaint against Hobbins? Objection, my lord. Defense is contriving to lead the witness. It was a simple question. I wish to establish the seriousness of the complaint made against my client. I shall permit the witness to answer. However, I'm awarding Mr. Greaves five points for a well-timed interruption. So who did lodge the complaint? It was Daniel Pibble. What was the nature of your injuries? 
I got very wet. But you didn't suffer any physical harm. I could have caught a nasty cold. Tell the court how you got wet. <clears throat> While patrolling on Bellevue, I was saturated by a southern shower. Did you ascertain its source? Oh, yeah. I heard laughter from the walkway hubbub. So, you saw the accused pour the liquid? I couldn't see anything. My eyes were full of water. But I'd recognize his laugh anywhere. Just how well do you know Hobby? I've never met him before. And yet you say you recognized his laughter. Um, I don't know. What was Mrs. Piermont's grievance? Cruelty to her pet dog. I interviewed Hobbins on four occasions. But he still hasn't confessed. Did you examine the dog? I tried to. And? The bugger bit me. No further questions, Your Honor. I wish to call Mrs. Piermont. Call Mrs. Piermont! Hello, darling. Hello, Robbie. Hello, everyone. Silence in court. What was your complaint against Hobbins? He was abused. My little poochie boots. Disgraceful. I haven't had a dog abuse case since the infamous Spaniel Mangle scandals. Did you witness the alleged attack? Not exactly. Then how did you know about it? Did the dog tell you? Officer Blunt reported the incident to me. How would you describe your pet dog? Objection, Your Honor. This is a trial, not a dog show. Objection overruled, Mr. Greaves. I want to get to the bottom of this doggy business. He's an absolute darling, darling. Everyone adores him. But Officer Blunt said it bit him. Eh, that would be the uniform. He was mauled by a troop of scouts when he was a puppy. Had you met Hobbins before this incident? I don't recall ever seeing him. But one takes little notice of mere maintenance men. No further questions, Your Honor. I'd like to question the defendant. Did you assault Officer Blunt? Objection, my lord. Why, men, what's wrong? Um, repetition, my lord? Objection overruled. Are you guilty of assault, Howard? Not me. I was fixing one of the cooling pipes, and it burst. So blunt soaking was an accident? Not exactly. Why did the pipe burst? Some joker had cut a power cable and overloaded the steam release in the power station. That's what damaged the cooling pipe. Oh, I see. Did you laugh at Blunt's predicament? Laugh? <laughs> I've nearly wet me pants. No further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Greaves, you may start the bonus round. The facts speak for themselves, my lord. Hobbins is a cruel and callous man with no respect for law and order. 
I recommend the maximum possible sentence. Any comments from the defense? I don't believe this is happening. This is total madness. You've all been warped in some way. And I think Link is the cause. Silence! I've heard quite enough of this nonsense. So it's time for me to make my judgment. Howard Hobbins, you've won tonight's star prize. Life imprisonment. However, in view of your service to the city, I'm going to reduce your sentence. Two hours community service. Court dismissed. Hey, music lover. If you're looking for the best in sound, I got them. The music of the spheres right here on Earth. So come on, get your fingers on my buttons. Let's make beautiful music together. How offensive. Why they put voices in these machines is beyond me. I'm all warmed up for you, baby. Shut up and let me check the selections. Oh, Lord, it's mostly country and western. Nobody's perfect. Ah, there are three tunes by the resident band. So, what's your choice, big boy? As cool as you. Pressing the buttons doesn't achieve anything. The select button isn't lit. Pressing the buttons doesn't... Hi there. Aw, oh, shut up. I just want to choose without being ha Long Beach. Excuse me. Where does the locked door lead to? Oh, that's the wine cellar. Hey, get your hands off my drink, Buster. Thank you. 
That side. It stopped talking, thank goodness. It's almost as if this jukebox can understand me. I can. I performed a body scan when you first made contact. I know your blood group, your color size, and your sexual preferences. This information has been transmitted to link files. Enjoy your selection. That's outrageous. I thought such blatant invasion of privacy only happened in major high street banks. Oh well, some music will cheer me up. You search, but... Excuse me. Never mind. Excuse me. Can you match my fingerprints to those on this glass? Oh yes. My machine will do that automatically. It's not against the law, is it? Whatever gave you that idea? Don't security use them to check people's identities? If they do, it's the first time I've heard of it. The usual procedure for identification of suspects is a retina scan at the post-mortem. Now, about these prints you requested. Open the panel on my machine and insert the glass. Then place your hands in the autodermatome. Will this hurt, Doc? Oh yes, quite considerably. Thank <laughs> you. 